For our Friday thought today, I want to read from A Gospel Primer for Christians by Milton Vincent. And what Vincent argues in the first half of the book is that the gospel is powerful and as Christians we need to be reminded regularly of the good news of the faith of Christianity. And then in the second half of the book, what Vincent does is share the gospel in a simple but beautiful way. And I'm going to read the opening um, paragraphs of his gospel that he shares in the second half. And he begins with the glory of God. So remember, this is just a reminder of the central truth we believe as Christians. And this is all about the glory of God. My God is immense beyond imagination. He measured the entire universe with merely the span of his hand. He is unimaginably awesome in all of his perfections, absolutely righteous and holy and just in all of his ways. He has also been unbelievably good and merciful to me as the creator and sustainer of my life. Every breath, every heartbeat, every function of every organ in my body is a gift from him. Every legitimate pleasure I experience is a gift from his loving hand to me. All that I am and all that I have I owe to him and to his goodness. My life in every way is and will continue to be utterly dependent upon him in whom I live and move and have my being. This wonderful God is the most supremely worthy object of admiration, honour and delight in all of the universe. And he has created me with the intention that I might glorify him by finding my soul's delight in him and by living in joyful obedience to him in all of my ways. Lord God, you are worthy of our honour and worship. You are glorious and majestic and wonderfully good in so many ways. You have given us everything we need and it is our role in life. It is the purpose of humanity that we would glorify you and enjoy you forever, finding our soul's delight in you. And Lord, this this book goes on to describe sin that means that we don't fulfil that purpose, but it goes on to describe the death of Christ and the salvation available in him, so that we as Christians might be filled with the Holy Spirit to glorify you with our words and deeds and thoughts, and to offer you the praise you are worthy of. And so I pray for each one of us, we would glorify you, and we would delight in you today. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.